I will first introduce the advertising ID module. The unique identification of a device is the key to the entire advertising ecosystem. Since the launch of Android 10, it is no longer possible to get IMEI through the Android interface, and GATE is not available on Huawei mobile phones. Every aspect of the advertising ecosystem has become accustomed to the operation through GATE. Without GATE, Advertisers do not know how to advertise. Advertising platforms do not know how to set up advertising budget. Advertising monitoring platforms do not know how to determine the effectiveness of advertising. The traffic platform is therefore unable to effectively yield cash. So the advertising module provides a new unique identification of the device, OAID which is Open Advertising ID. Based on OAID, the entire advertising ecosystem will be back to normal. Huawei's traffic monetizing platform, so far it is still under development. Please pay attention to the official website of Huawei developers. Particularly, Huawei advertising service is fully respectful of user privacy. It is mainly reflected in the following two aspects. 1. The OAID is non-permanent. Users can reset the OAID in the settings of Huawei mobile phones. 2. Users can also disable personalized ads directly so as to further protect their own privacy. As to the privacy protection, it will be demonstrated in a later demo. Huawei's advertising ID modules have been used by more than 2,000 apps. Mainstream advertising monitoring platforms also integrate Huawei's advertising modules. Developers can have multiple ways to yield cash through Huawei's advertising modules. Not only can you use OAID indirectly through third-party advertising platform SDK, you can also use Huawei advertising platform to monetize directly. Advertisers can also advertise directly through Huawei DSP platform. The second part is actual practices of codes. First, I will introduce demo. Suppose a company's employee insists on exercising on the way to and from a workplace. He would browse news and a news app when he visits a loudspeaker advertisement. The advertising platform will record this behavior. When he returns home and begins to exercise, he would open a fitness app. The fitness app will set a request for ads to the advertising platform through OAID. The advertising platform will return a lot bigger ads he may be interested in. We will demonstrate the app through an attached list of ads. We will return to the desktop to start another app. Here's a list of multiple ads. When a user clicks the AD of loudspeaker, it will jump to the page of loudspeakers. Meanwhile, the app will get the OAID of user and record the clicked ads. When we return to the sport app, we would see the AD of loudspeaker clicked it just now. This indicates that different apps receive the same OAID. Therefore, the advertising platform can provide personalized ads according to the OAID. While providing personalized ads, privacy is also important. User can reset OAID in the settings or turn off the recommendation of personalized ads. We would first reset OID. When we return to the sports app, we would see that the ad has changed. After we click a new ad in the list of ads, we would see the ad clicked just now in the main app. We can also turn off the personalized ads. As such, the ads would not be recorded at all. So the ad seen every time will be random. That's all about our demo. Next, we will enter the development step. Before official development starts, we have to prepare development environment of HMS first. There are only three steps in preparation for basic development environment of HMS. First, as the Marvin repository in the build grandal under the root directory of the project to easily find dependency package of HMS. Second, add basic dependency package in the module of app. Since the basic dependencies includes the provider 
used in the third step. Third, add update provider in Android manifest.xml for the system installation file to update HMS easily. After the basic environment is ready, it's easy to add other dependence packages. First, let's see the file build Grindle under the root directory of the project. We will first see the Huawei Maven repository added under all projects. After adding the Maven repository, we can find the dependency packages of HMS easily under the module of app. The are foresight Maven repository and the class path are used in the map module which we will introduce later in the part of map. Let's see the file build Grindle onto the module of app. We need to add a basic package of HMS in the dependencies so as to find update provider. Finally, switch to the file Android manifest and add update provider. Next, I will introduce the advertising ID module. First, add the dependency of advertising module onto the module of app and add per guard and then get OAID with the method advertising ID client other than OAID. This method will also report whether the user has closed the personalized advertising. The advertising platform will determine whether to recommend personalized advertisement according to the setting. Finally, I have to emphasize this method cannot be used in a UI linear. Let's take a look at the picture on the right. Huawei ADID module is a green frame, which provides OAID. The third-party advertising platforms will get advertisement according to OAID and report the visits. When a user uses other apps, it will get advertisements with the same OAID. Therefore, the user can receive personalized recommended advertisement. Let's see the file build granule of app module first. In order to avoid abnormal functions due to confusion, we need to add a necessary confusion protection option. Finally, we will learn about the enabling of Java code. This method cannot be used in UI thread, so we start a new thread. Through the method, get advertising ID info, we will get OAID. However, before the use of OAID, we need to check whether to close the personalized advertising. After the tracking is limited, the state of on-off and OAID will be returned. The advertising provider will be asked to close the recommendation and the tracking of personalized advertising according to the state of limited tracking. Finally, Return to the update interface of UI threat.